Hey everyone, what's going on? You are now live in the mix with Fat Cat Radio. Big Loots with some white. Yes, sir. As we bring to you the interview of D Wild. Hell yeah! That's correct. Everybody say what's up to D Wild. What's up, D Wild? Yo, what's good, guys? How's it going? Fantastic. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Enjoying the weather here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This this amazing Toronto weather, man. I tell you what, it gives you a badass summer cold, though. <laughs> 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 Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's a little side note. It's not a joke, man. People know how Toronto weather is. One day it's really hot, really like, oh my god, then the next day it's like freezing cold. So welcome to no, the. I gotta shovel up my driveway the next day, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so basically we're here to interview Dean Wilde in regards to her uh, mixtape release May 1st. It was called Lord Knows. Of course, you can find that at, at www.soundcloud.com slash Dean underscore Wilde, D-E-A-N underscore W-I-L-D. So if you have not taken your chance and your opportunity to go get the free mixtape and hear the songs and the reason why we're interviewing her and talking so much about her, then this is your moment. Go do that. While we're speaking, you can hear the interview and listen to the music at the same time. You're a, you're a multi-talented fan. So, Dean, how has the success from this mixtape been for you? You know what? It's just been a complete blessing. It's been posted around not only SoundCloud, it's on Reverb Nation. It's posted all over Facebook. We're working on putting up videos for YouTube. It's just, it's been a blessing. Of course, we got you guys spinning it on Fat Cat Radio. Got some love from Two Local Radio as well. Shout out to them as well. Right, right. Definitely shout out to but, uh, Two Local Radio. Yeah, it's, it's just been awesome. And you know what? I'm glad to have connected with Twism because it's, it's a blessing to be rolling with you. And you know what? I'm, I'm loving the feedback that I'm getting from uh, the team only. Hey, you, you are, you're the talent. You're the talent. I just I just get to show you off. So I mean, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm 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 privileged and honored to have people like you who are as supportive and as talented as you are being in the same circle as I am. So it's it's, it's more. This is about you shining, not me. So <laughs> take your opportunity. Tell them. Let them know. Tell them who was who all was involved in it. Um. Who who was involved in it? Well, you got me on it. I'm Dean Wild. You got Shadow Fury, who's also Major Fury, and Major Fury actually mixed and matches the whole tape for me. We have Maisie F. We have Jay Iceberg. It was just, it was a fun tape to do, and you know what? We had put a lot of emotion into it. We had some happy moments. We had some sad moments. We just uh, completely went for it. Uh, and you did a great job. Great job. Now, who... Respect, uh, man. Uh, these people that you were talking about now, and, and give us a little bit of background on them. All righty. Well, uh, let's start with my boy Shatter first. Eric Patello is Shatter's mm -hmm. major fury. Do you need me to say that again? Uh, I said whoop whoop. <laughs> oh, I thought you said whoop. Oh, I said whoop whoop. <laughs> but one more time for anyone who didn't catch that. Yeah. Eric Patello, aka Shatter Fury. A.K.A. Major Fury. He was a part of it. He uh, represents from Sutton and Scarborough. He's on the Stay Blessed Productions label. We also have Jay Iceberg. He's from Newmarket, Ontario. He's a well-rounded artist, a lot to play around with. You know what? He was a great time. I just shot a video for Life After Death with him. Nice. And uh, it, was, it was a blessing, you know what, to ha spit with him on the track, too. We did up in the clouds together with me, him, and Shattered. That was a good time. Man's a good time to chill with, and you know what? He's a friend of mine. Then, last but not least, we have my partner in crime, Maisie S. Maisie S. is a true supporter, a true artist. I can't give this woman enough respect. She came through last minute for some extra stuff for me, and she's just been a day one homie. And nice. And my respect to her. Nice, nice. Now you, you and obviously and she's also from Scarborough. I don't know if I said that, but she's from Scarborough. So it sounds like you're scattered all through the, the GTA, then. Yeah, we're we're all scattered out through the GTA, and uh, 
I got some other edits on the Stabless Productions label that weren't on this tape, but you're going to see them coming out in the uh, next tape that I'm doing because we're doing a whole tape for the Stabless Productions label, so we're nice. going to completely represent. Nice. And you know the Fat Cat Radio, of course, was a white piece, and Lou are all right behind you, so if you need anything, <laughs> Always. Or anything just let us know. Always. Thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate that. No, nah, it's always, man. It's always. I got. Yeah, I want to mention. Really. I want to mention about this mixtape. Uh, Lord knows. You know, I, I got a question, Dean. Did you? You know, th- there's a really good flow with this. Uh, with this album here, it, did that just happen, or did you guys really put this into place with the tracks to make it flow the way it did? Um, you know what? It was kind of me sitting down after I had all my songs kind of written, or some parts came from freestyle that were just off the top of my head how I felt. And I just, I wanted to spread it out, kind of make it a mix of a little bit of everything throughout the tape, so that way you're not just vibing on one level through one half of the tape. You got like a bunch of different things to get your head if you're not enough to, or you can kind of sit there and really feel it. Good deal, good deal. Awesome. So, uh, now, when, with, uh, with, with the release being on SoundCloud and Reverb Nation, do you have any plans for it to be coming a hard copy? Do you do you plan on on promoting this at your shows? Is this something like that, or do you just is this like like one of those personal mixtapes that you're like, hey, I did it, and let's move on to the next project? Nah, you know what? This is definitely going to become a hard copy, and it's going to be available in a lot of spots. We'll definitely have it on our merch table, and. Uh, Anytime we cross with anyone else who wants to throw it on their tables, hey, we'll give it to you and throw us your tapes as well. We're down to help support artists and sell the tapes around at our shows as well. Well, you know, Fat Cat Radio, we like to have copies of everything. So, speaking of a copy, yeah. you know. Yeah, like, so we got to get you both a copy. Yeah, sign, yeah. sign. you got to sign. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, Dean. Yeah, yeah. In uh, September, Fat Cat Radio is hosting a uh, fundraiser for brittle bones disease. Uh, here in Connecticut, and um, all sales go 100% towards uh, brittle bone disease. So if you wanted to shoot some uh, some albums over, we can, uh, you know, put your name involved with it too. So yeah, for sure, I can definitely do that. No problem. Great, great, great. I'm always down to help support any kind of charity. I'm definitely a charity performer as well. I've done multiple charity performances already, and I've only been rapping for a year. So I want to keep going with that, and any charity that would want me to be involved, give me a shout. Sounds good. Awesome, awesome. awesome. So you want to get? Uh, I want to get this uh, the the beginning here, uh, Dean. I want to ask you, where did it start for you? When when did you realize that you know music was gonna? I'm not. I'm not. I'm no longer going to express myself to myself. I'm going to express myself to everybody. Everybody else. I'm going to put this down on on uh, on tape. I'm going to you know let people hear what I'm saying. When did this start for you? Well, uh, in high school, I was in a metal band called One Last Kiss Goodnight, and uh, there was probably about five six members in the band that fluctuated in and out and. Uh, we performed together for probably about three years. We toured Ontario. And then I had some problems. I broke my hand up pretty good and uh, my wrist up pretty good, and I can no longer shred a guitar the way that I'd like it to sound. Uh. So therefore, I was just like, you know what, man? I got to get back into music. I got to do something. I was like, let's try my hand at some hip-hop. And that's kind of where I went from it. And I got some good feedback when I started, and I was like, all right, let's roll with it. So I'm going to go with the flow type of person. That's awesome. Twism? All right. All right. Uh, just uh, listening in, I just kind of get in the background for it. You know, you have so many discussions on Facebook and stuff that it's sometimes nice to just be able to hear the other person say a little bit because it, it, it actually opens up a whole, uh, you know, new, new, new light on the person. So uh, now, uh, Dean, obviously, you know, you, you said you've been rapping for a year now. Now, what, you know, not looking past, let's look forward. What is what is the objectives or the the um, the outlook for the rest of this summer as well as the rest of this full 365 year? Uh, you know what? The rest of the year is going to be a killer year for the Stable S Production team, not only myself, but the whole goddamn team when I'm saying this. We're going to be making some really nice movements. 
hosting some charity events. We got some new videos that are going to be banging out that are going to have the whole label in it. And might I add, we don't have people just in Ontario. We also have my boy Heavy that I just signed to the label out in Nova Scotia. So if you're oh, that's beautiful right now, there. What else? It's beautiful there, man, in Nova Scotia. What's driving your momentum, Dean? What's 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 behind you? What's driving this for you? Which what, what's... what's what's behind me? You know what? Everything that keeps pushing me is I'm someone who struggled with mental health for a very long time, and I took a very hard kick in the butt when I was a teenager. So I want to project myself and how I feel, and hopefully get across to some other people who have been through some stuff in their life as well. I want to make sure that they know. They're not alone, and you know what? Even if you think it's that bad, it's not going to be over. You can keep going. There's other people you can turn to. I'm one of those people you can turn to. Nice. nice. Well said. Very well, well said. Well said. Yeah. Gotcha. So with with this, uh, this um, like you said, go with the flow attitude, how has that, uh, how is that, how has that helped the decision-making part of, of Stay Blessed Productions and Dean Watt? <laughs> Honestly, I am the most indecisive person I know. Ah. So I, I, bounce, I bounce my ideas off myself, like people I care about, my team, of course. I want to know their input 24-7. We always all communicate together because you know what? A group that acts like a group and works as a group, you're going to make a lot of good movement. Amen. Okay. I'm glad that I have a team behind me because I can't say that I make all my decisions alone. A lot of it is based between me and Eric. But a lot of the decisions are mine. We're just making them a group decision. Nice, nice, nice. Now, obviously, you know, Shadow Theory is a, is a, a very relevant um, part to the whole Stay Blessed Productions. How, how has, uh, you know, how has uh, he, you know, how has he guided this, this journey uh, you know, obviously, you're saying that you're you're the indecisive one. Somebody has to be the rock. Who, you know what I mean? It, it oh man, he, ain't, he Harry, ain't much so. better. He ain't much better. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? When we put both of our heads together, and me and him talk business, which is most of the time, because that's what we enjoy. So it's not like we're just talking work. We're we're talking something we enjoy. Right. So right. I made him the vice president of Stay Bus Productions as of like two months ago and i don't regret my decision at all this guy has pulled his weight he's helped out he's he's helped me find our new artist chemical shout out to chemical if you're listening you're the fucking man homie Uh, but uh straight up yeah just he eric's Eric's been my boy and i'm glad to have him on my team good 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 now what you know you, you you say a lot of this uh a lot of this mixtape was um you know trying to convey a message that people could relate to what would you say would be the song on there that you felt like you was able to deliver the exact message that you wanted to and and got the response that you wanted from it song cry 100% my remake of song cry i basically wrote that song almost in tears and when I first previewed it, before I even dropped the album, I had a couple people check it out, and they they all really said they felt that song. Nice. So I had I had basically my second mother in tears when she heard it. So I don't yeah, know. I'm just I, I know that I, that like song it. "Cry" was my One personal favorite. Yeah. For so sure, man. That 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 song was you. You definitely did a good job on that song, and of course, you know that beat behind you. Of course, it was just a you know a. Hey, Epic, That's okay. what I'm saying. It's like it's one of those beautiful beats. When I first heard that song by Daisy, I was just like, "Oh man, I gotta remake this." Right. <laughs> so I just right. I went right at it. It's it was a touchy song, and you know what? Let's make it a little bit touchier. Nice, nice, Lou. You got anything? You know, you, you've uh, you're moving along with this uh, with this mixtape here. You've got uh, a hell of a team behind you. You've got a lot of support around you. It seems like the guy on your left has your left, and the guy on your right has your right. So, in, in saying all that, do you feel like you are achieving success in this industry where just so many are failing at? Um, can you repeat that one more time? I just do. I, do you feel point like point. do you feel like you're achieving success in in an industry where so many are failing at? Um, yeah, I, I like I don't really even know how to answer this because. 
I'm not somebody who wants to even come across as cocky in any kind of way. It wouldn't. But, it wouldn't. This this but, is personal. Let's, let's, be real for, let's be real for one second here and not see me as a cocky person. See me as an individual who's went through a lot in their life and is just want to take in a second in. Okay, so here's what's good. I know dudes who've been doing this for like 15 years and are just getting their name put out there. I've been doing this for a year, man, and I splash my name all over the place. So I, I feel like I am doing quite well for myself and especially how old I am. Like, I'm only 23, so I'm still so young. Yeah. I've got so much ahead of me, right? So I feel like if I keep going with the rate I'm going, I'm going to be doing all right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, are, now are you gigging? You're doing gigs, right? Oh, yeah, all the time. All over the place, all over Ontario, as long as I can get there, I'm there, you know? Now, are you, um, how's, how's the fan reaction? Um, it's, it's been mixed. I've had some small shows. I've had some big shows. But you know what? I couldn't care. Even if I'm performing to one person, I'm going to give it all I got, and I'm going to make sure that I at least touch that person's soul while I'm performing that night. You know, in saying that, touching somebody's soul, let's talk about your soul. In doing a live show, um, is there is there just that one song that when you're performing it, it, it just takes you to a whole nother level emotionally? Emotionally, it brings you to a whole different place when you're when you're performing it. Um, yeah, I guess I guess you could say that. My first time performing my song "Only Human," that that was kind of a touchy song at first too. It was slower. Nobody kind of really knew what was going to happen in it, and I just kind of brought it. But then also, I performed Song Cry once. It was like literally once so far. It was just a sneak preview at a little show I did, and the reaction I got from the crowd that night, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> I didn't know how to respond to it. I was, huh. I was just like, okay, let's get the next track going. I don't want to look at these people. <laughs> <laughs> You think you're ready? You think you're ready to to get out there and uh, tour up? You know, if if somebody came up to you and said, "Hey, let's get on this tour," and and are you ready for that? Oh yeah, for sure. I know we're planning a Sabus Productions Cross Canada tour as well. Nice. We got that talking about and in the mix. So Wait, no, I'd le- oh so no, keep, go, go for it, Twizzy. No, go ahead. No, all right. Um, so, you know, getting out there and you're going to, you know, if you make it mainstream, even though you're, you're doing what you want, you're doing what you love. So, you know, for you, for you, how important is image? How important is it? Well, you know what? To be mainstream has never been my goal, never will be my goal. As long as I'm making music and I'm happy for myself and I can maybe make some other people happy in the process, I'm happy. I don't, I don't need the money. I don't need the fame. I'm just doing this to say I'm right and to stay alive. That's exactly it. I'm right and to stay alive. Nice. 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 Go for it, Twism. Uh, you know, really just, uh, you know, taking this all in. Like I said, you you know, you talk to somebody on Facebook, it's usually always just a, a business type of atmosphere. And then when you when you get to meet the person behind the scenes, it takes on a whole different twist. So, uh, you know, it's just it's nice to see this kind of mindset, um, you know, in Dean Wild because it, it, it's really um, it's refreshing. Um, it is. You know, uh, see, I appreciate that. Huh? I said I really appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. It, like, I mean, you know, honestly, we appreciate you because, you know, we look out here and the reason why, you know, we run an underground radio show and the reason why, you know, we run, we play underground music is because, you know, everything that we hear on mainstream and we hear um, um, on the radio is one of those things that's just, you know, we're sick of it. Yeah. And so when we get the refreshing blast, so to speak, of the underground talent and the underground artists that are involved with it, it that's exactly why we're doing this. So, you know, we want to thank you for trying to be a fresh breath, you know, bringing a change to hip-hop, because in reality, if we look around and we let hip-hop go the direction that it's going, it's just, it's... It's horrible. It is. It, especially when you have Time Life magazines and scientists and people saying that hip-hop <laughs> has been the most influential music source throughout history. And yeah. not only that, but it's also been the most historical, life-changing aspect uh, uh, regarding any one particular moment or movement. You know what I mean? And then here you have uh, you know, people like uh, uh, you know, Lil Wayne and things like that that are totally... In my opinion, they're misrepresenting it, man. You know, 
if you take it back to what it used to be, it used to be so much more pure. It used to be so much more healthier. Um, hence the reason why it made such an impact. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Dean, you're a part of a brand new hip hop movement that's going to be a better hip hop movement than what we've had. So we say thank you to you. So, we'll expect more to come out of it, and I look forward to rolling with all of you in the process. You know, Dean, the the Big Lou and CC show uh, was graced with your presence the other day, and you know, I, I want first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to come out there uh, and talk to, talk with us. Um, but second, I, you know, we discussed a little bit about Team Elite, um, and you know, just to reiterate, um, you know, for the people that didn't uh, tune in or you know, just just hearing about it now, um, how how do you feel that your involvement with Team Team Elite is 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 helping you, or you know, what's your what's your thoughts on Team Elite? Honestly, like I said the other day, I don't know if it's going to be exactly a quote, but I feel like Team Elite's become my second second family. Shout out to Twiz and White Piece for having this face plastered all over there. Because you know what? It takes a lot of guts to do that and to try and gather your followers and supporters. And you know what? Man's got a lot of followers and supporters behind them. And they're now following me. They're now supporting me as well. I'm now supporting them. I've met a lot of cool artists like uh, Deray. Yeah, we both said that. Oh, my God. Deray, for sure, I was just listening to his new song today, and I was like, oh, man. I was like, that's some good stuff right there. Yeah, yeah. And but, like, I, you know, just... I, not not to interrupt you real quick, but I really want to say huge shout out to uh, you know to the Twiz and White Peace team elite. Um, and before I let you go ahead and, and jump back into it, I just want to say that um, obviously for anybody trying to find out more about the team elite, you can go to www.twizandwhitepeace.com slash team elite, and you'll have a whole list, uh, little bios, pictures, the whatnot. We're actually going to get songs put up there for them, um, and, and, you know, just kind of keep them um, in the good graces because, um, you know, this movement that is going on called Team Elite um, – Yes, there's a face to it called Twizzle White Piece, but the body, the actual people that are doing this movement that are so awesome um, are people like Dean Wilde and DeRay and John Kemp and people like that. So um, not to interrupt you, I just want to make sure that people have an opportunity to go and look and find out more about Team Elite while you're talking about it. Yeah, for sure. But you go ahead and finish. I'm so sorry. Go ahead and finish. You were saying. Don't, don't forget about the emails now either. You also oh. get really special emails too for being a part of Team Elite. Yeah, well, I, okay, so uh, there you go. Hey, since I've got you here, just just break it down. What did you think of the email? I mean. Well, you know what? I felt like it was a lot of good insight, and depending on where your stats are as an artist and where you have your music posted, almost type things that. It kind of develops you, and it shows you where, like, where you want to be as an artist. And I felt like it was a good email. Nice, nice. Well, there's another one coming out here. That, like I said, they're biweekly, or yeah, bi bi monthly, or whatever. Bi weekly, bi monthly, every two weeks, whatever. Bi weekly, uh, yeah, bi weekly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah bi weekly. <laughs> And, uh, of course, the next one is be, is going to have, uh, you know, tips and secrets on how to um, take and make an image for yourself and then take that image and apply it to each of the websites and how to benefit um, off of that image. So um, it's really going to be a positive thing. And, you know, I do appreciate, like I said, everybody involved because, um, you know, obviously this is something that, you know, benefits to my success but at the same time, it also benefits to the people involved. Um, like you said, there's, um, you know, supporters now that you didn't have before. And, and these are top-notch supporters. Um, oh, man, the best of the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The best of the best. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and so, you know, um, you know how, how, how do you feel? I mean, okay, so what, do you like the whole concept behind it? Honestly, I think it's a really good concept, and I think it's what's kind of needed in this hip-hop game, because you know what? There's not enough supporters in this. Too many people are too sour, and you know what? We don't like the sour fruit, so we're taking them all the way out of our bowl. Anybody who wants to stay true and represent what hip-hop's really about, it's a culture, not a cult. Get that straight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. You know, we actually nice. did use that. Didn't we use that term uh, the other day, cult, uh, cult-like or something? 
it, and it's not it's not it, you know what it's a collective group of people who want to support each other and move forward together and help each other and 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 they all everybody understands what this whole deal is about independent music independent artists underground artists uh, uh hosts and and stations and just a collective group of people just getting together and making some noise and exactly. not only that you're getting things in return you're getting support you're getting marketing you're getting all these great things that are involved with this have really uh have really helped this team elite definitely okay in essence what you get from this is you get the tips the tools the secrets and the trade knowledge on how to take yourself from being just that wannabe rapper to being what you can call yourself as an established rapper yeah okay and when i say that i'm i'm bringing up the team elite line okay which in itself gives everybody involved in Team Elite an opportunity to be a part of something that draws more attention. So say, um, let's say Louisiana, he does a show, right? And Dean Wilde up here in Toronto do a show, right? But because both of them are Team Elite and they're rocking the and stuff, they get the opportunity to be in the same circle and draw the same crowd and the same attention um, not only from the underground, but from the industry as well, because you have to understand, there's members of this team elite who are so officially established that they have people watching them. So whoever they're messing with is going to be paid attention to. See, that's it's like the domino effect. Absolutely. Shout so, out to Jerry Wilson. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry Wilson. Yeah, man, uh, you know what? <laughs> that's the name you want to hear. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tell, yeah, I'm going to tell you something. Listen, 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 listen. I, and I've said this probably a thousand times, but if there's any one person who can officially take the the title of being uh, in any way responsible for the success of not only Twism White Peace, Team Elite, the whole nine yards, uh, it is that man, Jerry Wilson. He is one of the smartest businessmen. Yeah, he one is. Of the most, he's one of the most passionate underground artists, as well as being one of the most humble but dedicated um, you know, promoter, CEO kind of people. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you brought that up, Dean. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a well, well-respected man, and every interaction I've had with him so far, he's he's been a great support to me as well. Yeah. So I definitely have to commend him. Shout out to Jerry Wilson one more time. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I mean, if you, I mean, but see, you know, when <laughs> see, we're talking about Team Elite, and we just keep naming off names. We're like, hey, shout out to this person, shout out to this. Person. Why? Because it is, man. This is an exclusive group right here. This is like, like you said earlier, the best of the best. Absolutely. Okay. We've got like the best. Up, I wouldn't know any of these people if it weren't for Twism White Peace. Listen, listen. Like I said once again, I may be the face of the Team Elite, and and of course, you know. The, the the clothing line, the branding, all that sure as I rock it and then I wear it all over the United States, all over the world, it obviously draws more attention to the team elite and everything. But it is nothing without the people who are actually doing the solid, dedicated movement every day, every day. Because it's, it's hell trying to take care of your own artist work and then trying to support other people. And these people right here, they go out of their way. They, they literally, they do. They go out of their way. It'd be 11 o'clock at night. I read a post that was posted at 9 o'clock this morning, but, you know, they, they finally got around to sharing it, but at least they shared it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That's the commitment, the dedication, and that's why every single member of that Team Elite page is winning, period. Surely, definitely. We've got actors on there. We've got actors on there. We've got Steve Hopkins on there. He's an actor. He's an actor from all the way from Los Angeles. Do you know what that means? That means he's getting looked at by people in Los Angeles. So when he says, hey, check me out on the Team Elite page, guess who other pictures they see? Guess who other links they see? You, you, you yep. know what I mean? So. Yeah, Team Elite. Team Elite is definitely something that's uh, very good for a lot of people right now, and it's 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 helping you, Dean, and that's what's important. And Dean, you're helping it. You're helping the movement itself too. Oh man! So but you, you keep shouting out everybody else, but I want to take a moment and shout out Dean Wild from Team Elite. <laughs> Dean Wild, Dean Wild from Team Elite. That, that's that's one of the superstars right there. And it's good to have positive exposure, too. Some negative exposure is okay, but the positive exposure with Team Elite is good. And, you know, 
you've you've really you're really helping us and 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 yourself and it's no there's no i in team elite it's a team exactly you know exactly. And, and and that's important that's what that's what makes it what it is so you know uh just to just to move a little forward here um uh, dean i got you know you, you have you have life you have music you have business the business aspect of this you've got like you said you you know you're you're battling your own personal problems and stuff how do you balance all this with music there Amen. would be no balance in my life without music 100 <laughs> like if i didn't if i didn't have all this to keep my mind busy keep myself sane i don't know i'd probably be like have some anxiety attack or something i don't know but, <laughs> but like, I, i'm good i got music and i'm loving it i've been so much happier since i've started developing myself more as an artist and my label stable as production so you know what did how do you move you know we talked about momentum before what advice or, or do you have a motto that you live by that that helps you move what advice somebody ever give you some advice to help you with this what made you uh move forward what was it was it just to just to express yourself was it to to share i mean what what do you live by right now what is your motto my motto right now is stay blessed stay humble stay true you. Nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. See, and you know what? And you see, you know, it's things like that. See that right there. See, you know, you're going to be able to put that on your own Team Elite shirt. You do realize that, right, Dean? Oh, that, that's it. Yeah, yeah you, you, you'll be able to have your own Team Elite shirt that says, you know, stay humble, stay true. You know what I mean? That 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 That's something that is going to be able to benefit you. Surely. Definitely. Because, I mean, that's come awesome. on. That's awesome. I'm dude, looking forward to that. Dude, I, no, I mean, I mean, I look at it like from this point of view. A statement like that, that's what we call a trademark. You understand what I'm saying? You could literally yeah. trademark that. That could be your slogan when they say, you know, uh, duh, 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 what's that damn theme song or whatever. You know, <laughs> I, I can't think of it right off the top of my yeah. head. But <laughs> I, I got the stuck in my head. You know how you <laughs> Twism, the hip hop artist, came out with da 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 da. Yeah, no, uh, McDonald's. Thank you, McDonald's. What are the, da da what are the, da da da. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, there yeah, you look, go. Man. There you go. Look, look. I don't listen to mainstream music. Okay. <laughs> All right. So no. Anyways, when they say that, what's the slogan that goes with it? Da 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 da. da. I'm loving I'm it. Loving it. Yeah. Right. Everybody knows that, dude. That's what it is. And when they say Twizzle White Piece, everybody knows that mine is either best of the new next or internationally known. It's just whatever, whatever. You yep. know what I mean? And Fat it's Cat Radio, those... Fat Cat Radio is raising the bar one about note at, one a note at a time. Exactly. Yep. So you should really think about that. See, small things like that change the game for you on a marketing level. Mm -hmm. You define. Well, you know, I got in a bunch of my songs. I got it posted on some pages. Okay, so now I get yeah. a T-shirt that says that. Yeah, that's that's the next step. So you know what? Let's put that on the Team Elite shirt. There you go. See, that's my that's that's my whole point. See, when you start branding it, when you start marketing it, even if you don't want to be mainstream, see, that's what everybody gets twisted. Everybody thinks that just because I want to be in the industry and I want the industry money, that 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 that's what I'm trying to tell everybody else to do. No, no. See, I'm going to be in the industry because I'm going to be the biggest, most loudest voice trying to change this hip hop game. Okay, but exactly. there still needs to be people in the underground who are established and capable of taking care of themselves through the yep. money that they make off of music. And that's the local scene. And exactly. the good thing is, the good thing is, is the artists that move mainstream and don't forget about the local scene is what helps the underground movement. The, the, the exactly. The, and you, if you take an artist who goes mainstream and forgets about everything and just cares about money. Then of course you you want it for the money. Don't get nobody could say they don't want to they don't want to make money off of this. But or they're a liar. Or they're a yeah, liar. Yeah, but but the good thing is is there are people out there who move forward and actually do this because they love it and they want to help people. You know, and you know tw Twism, you really go out of your way to help people. And you know you've you've been I, I've watched you, man. I watched you start. I've watched you, you know, with the, with this industry of, of of hosting and and promoting. I've watched this happen, and I've watched you grow. And and you know, Dean, I, I gotta say, man, you know, looking in your past and stuff like that, you have grown further than than some people can. 
and right. because you have the potential. And, and Twism, you two, you two, you two together um, definitely move forward in the right way and help well, this see, industry that, and, in and the see, local okay. level. In the local level, you guys are really helping the industry. You and know? that's exactly why when I when I was first introduced to Dean, that I said okay, because you know. There's, you know, when you look at somebody's Facebook page or when you go through and you listen to their music, you get a sense of... Who they are. What, well, not only who they are, but their professionalism, their, yeah. their commitment, their dedication, their, their seriousness about being something in life and not just claiming that they're something. Do you exactly. understand what I mean by that? And, and when you look at somebody's posts, if they're just talking crap or they're repping a bunch of stuff but it doesn't have any substance to it, then... That's not looking correctly. And so when I when I first looked at Dean Wild, I seen all this and I was like, you know what? Wow, this is this is professionalism. I mean, there are other international, you know, I say international. There are other Canadian um, artists in the local hip hop scene, obviously. But when we talk about having a presence um, in the underground local scene, that is where Dean Wild is going to take the cake, and that shows because of the dedication and the commitment. Right. Let's get back to Dean Wild. Let's talk about you, Dean. I, I, I'm still. I, I still have many questions. I'm sure Twism, you do too. Yeah. Um, you know. You know, Dean. You, you're a very humble person. We've talked about that. And and you know, the good thing about that is the people around you um, are aware of it. And people around you are, are, are the people that su- that are helping support you and, and helping you move forward and giving you that momentum. But you know, if if I were to sit down with uh, you know a few of your closest friends. You know, what would they say about you? Um, hey, what would you say about me if you were to sit down with Lou? Uh, that's the way to do it right there. That's how you do it. You just turn and say, hey, what do you think of me? That's how you do it. What would you say to Lou if you were to sit down with Big Lou? Oh. And he was down with you about being wild. What would you say? That you're a very inspirational person and I look up to you. Nice. There you go. That's one opinion. Yeah. Nice. You're heartfelt. <laughs> I, I would say, say one? I would say you're heartfelt and humble. You know that would be th- those would be the the two uh, words I would use to describe you: heartfelt and humble. Heartfelt and humble. Well, you know what? I'm loving all these compliments, guys. Thank you. I'd say you got a good vibe, like both musical and just like personal. You're like you got one of those vibes that people just get like real comfortable and real yep. smooth with. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. So, you know, you got a lot of supporters. You're, you're part of Team Elite. Is there anybody that you would like to do a collaboration with or, or do a workshop with that you, you've never had the chance to but you've always wanted to? Oh, man, there's too many to name. Since I'm still so new, there's so many people that I look up to, so many people that I'd love to collaborate with. God, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, but, Jeez, yeah, is, it, is it me or... That is a local is Coco Lea. I definitely oh, yeah. want to get in with her. She's got an amazing set of vocals. Yeah, th- that video, that video that went show. viral the other day, that was of great. Can rock a show. Yep. Yeah, of her performance. I can vouch for that one. <laughs> I can vouch for that one. Yeah, can rock the yeah. show real well. So you 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 yeah, moved. Yeah, it was really good. She's a great performer and a great supporter. So she's another person. Team Elite, shout out Coco Lea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Team Elite. Yeah. See another one. See. So you <laughs> you switched over. You went from metal to uh, this whole nother uh, feel. Now, <clears throat> in doing that, you know, if, if there's an artist out there who's who just feels at a dead end and really wants to express themselves differently and and, and wants to make the jump to a different genre, let me ask you. You know, is there is there some kind of um, advice you would give them to help them start off and and, and promote themselves? Um, you know what, just like I said before, and like I've done the whole way through, stay true to yourself, represent yourself for who you really are, not who you think you are or want to be, yeah. and uh, just just make sure that you're putting your yourself into your music, don't just write, write something to go be like, oh bam, I spit some really sick bars today, I wrote this really sick song, well then later on they post it and you listen to it, it's like, uh... What are you talking about there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you had said before that you uh, you have gigged and you've had small and larger gigs and stuff like that. Let me ask you about that first gig that you did. What was going through Dean Wilde's head 30 seconds before you went out to do your set? 
Um, man, I just drank a lot of beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my words come out all right. I've never really rapped before, and these dudes are trying to make me rap battle before I perform, and I don't even rap battle. <laughs> I, I was a little nervous, but you know what? I just I went with it, and I had a lot of good friends and supporters there, and it it was it was a fun time. It was definitely something I'm gonna remember. Nice. Good deal. Good deal. Nice. And it's the, you know for so so for new listeners, uh, people that you know haven't heard your music that are tuning into this interview because that's more than probable right now uh, because we do have you know twenty five hundred followers that may not know exactly who you are. Um, describe your music. Uh, what kind of message are you trying to send as a whole to it with it? And, and describe your music for these people. My music. All right. Well. Uh... I wouldn't say I'm your typical hip-hop artist. I like to add a little bit of kind of every genre into my music, and you're going to see that in my next tape that I'm starting to work on now. But uh, you're going to you're gonna see a little bit of different flavors with me. You're going to get the happy moments, the sad moments. You're going to have stuff that is even going to be PG-rated. You can play it in front of your family. I'm performing at York Pride out in New York region. It's in Richmond Hill. June twentieth, I believe it is, with Maisie F. I just got her locked in to come perform with me as well. That's going to be a PG event, so I'm going to have some family friendly songs. So anyone who's in the area and you want to come check it out, come check it out. Is it is it hard for you to um is it hard for you to switch over from explicit to family friendly? Uh, no, not really. Sometimes it can be. Uh, I find that some of my songs say Garden of Eden. That's got no swears in it at all. I found that was probably one of my f- most... I had the most fun spinning that song yet out of any song that I've ever yeah. spit before. <laughs> it was probably the most fun for me. And it was family-friendly, which made it ten times better. Yeah. Right. Twism? Uh, I just... I, I, you know, I kind of was... I had a curiosity question. I wanted to know how come you went with such a... Um, I guess what I'll call such a mainstream hip hop sound. Um, when you could, with, with your metal background, how come you didn't infuse metal and hip hop? I mean, I guess, I guess when I'm listening you're to your gonna background, see it. <laughs> you're going to see it more. Well, I, okay, ah, so I guess, that's a good yeah, leak. I, good leak right there. I like that. Yeah, see, because I mean, I would have <laughs> figured that would have been the first one, but I guess, and yeah, you know. Well, I mean, you're going to see a little bit of country on the next tape too. Oh, so nice. Be a, just a little mix up in there. But see, you know, the ability to to um, interact with other genres like that is what it, that's that's a talent that you have. You know what I mean? Because there are a lot of people out there who can't do it, can't right. do it at all. Can't rhyme. Uh, music, you know. Music just... unites us all, man. And I got to give another personal shout out to my friends over at Global Language Entertainment. They rock it. They are my metal boys down here. Cadillac Blood. You know what? I'm dropping his personal name right now. Luke Morrell, You are my brother. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and I'm glad you're on this road with me, brother. Shout out to you, because I know you're going to eventually hear this. Nice. Now, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, 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 I've been, I've been uh, hogging the scene for about 20 minutes, so... Uh. No, man, you've been a great delivery, great delivery. I, I'm not even mad at you, man, so... Um, so basically, you know, I guess, uh, you know, we've, we've sat here, we've talked, we've, you know, we've laughed about the different scenarios and different things and, you know, kind of got the feel for where you're at and what you're going to do. And I want to hit her with so a I, quick fire. A go, get it. I, I want to hit her right. with a quick fire challenge. Okay, go. All right, Dean, answer the first thing that comes to your mind. Fill in the blanks. Right. Without music, I would be blank. Without music, I'd be dead. Music if I it, was to sign a record label, sign with a record label tomorrow, I'd have to bring my damn team with me. Otherwise, I ain't going. I write songs because blank. Because mm, I want to inspire people. My favorite kind of beats are boom bap. <laughs> my blank defines my style. My gayness defines my style. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I don't to... know, man, you guys got me on the spot here. Yeah, it's a, that's what it's called, <laughs> the quick I, fire. 
<laughs> right. If I was to perform with one person, who would it be? Eric Patello. Yeah, see, that's the question I asked before. And you're like, there's a million people. Yeah, that's what I was like, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I, Anybody I, you I can't, just misunderstood the question. Yeah. That's my bad, homie. So let's, let's, let's go back in time here. If you can go back in time, what would you do differently? I'd go back in time, what would I do differently? Uh, nothing really, because you know what? Everything's made me who I am today, so I don't really think about much of the past. Just keep going with the future. So what would you say then you would need to do more of in the future to help secure this? Um, I'd like to have more confidence in myself and other artists that I know to help develop uh, a better scene in my hometown area because I feel like it's just kind of been on the little bit of the outskirts, but it has gotten some exposure. I'm originally from Newmarket, Ontario. I'd just like to see my hometown get a little bit more because there's some really decent artists who deserve to get noticed out there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh Just really kind of, uh, you know, coming, boiling back down to, uh, you know, it seems like um, that this is more of a a personal quest for it, like a personal quest yeah, for absolutely. you rather than, a, rather than a musical quest. Yeah, it's it's all about finding yourself, and I feel that music has helped me find myself and I, you, you're going to keep learning more along the way everybody's growing every day, everybody's learning new lessons and I guess this is my journey and I'm happy with it God put me on this road for a reason Hell yeah So what, what, what's your expected, what's your expected uh, uh, out, uh, outlook for your next release? Like, When, when do you think you're going to have that ready? Uh, let's go by Late fall, maybe my birthday, which is in November. Shout out, Team Scorpio. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I'm. I gotta make sure you get everyone in there. Make sure everybody's feeling included. Because you know what? Music makes us all a family. Exactly. So I'm talking to not just you guys, I'm talking to all the listeners out there as well. Hell yeah. We're all family here at Fat Cat Radio. See, and that's, you know, you have to look at it like that. You have to. You know what? You know what, Dean? People like you make me happy. You yeah. know, people like you make me happy because you know I make I, our job easy. It's not even just that. It help. It helps. It helps our. It helps my momentum. You know, Dean. W- the way you move, the way you, uh, the way you shoot for for the stars, and, and, and all that. It helps me. It helps me and, and helps Twism uh, as my partner here. And, you know, it, it, Fat Cat Radio was, was designed for this. And, you know, I do owe a lot of gratitude to uh, Ray Ray for Two Local Radio. I got to give it to him. You know, me and him did hella moves back in, you know, last year. And I moved on on my own. And I'm happy. And I know he's happy with what he's doing. But I got to say, this new endeavor has really filled my heart because of people like you being able to sit down and really get to talk to people and get to know them and do a different kind of format that's what i love and it's people like you that fill my heart dean thank you well thank you so much for the opportunity guys it's it's been a blast and thank you so much for all your kind words well i mean you know uh, you know always we get the same kind of well thank you fat cat radio and stuff like this but you guys what nobody seems to realize is that you know fat cat listener fat cat radio wouldn't be nothing if we had zero listeners on 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 speaker or if we had zero artists talking to us about their music or if we had zero supporters sharing the facebook post and the twitter post so in reality while everybody's saying hey thank you fat cat radio we owe everything to the people hell yeah and Absolutely. That, I mean, that's, dude. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> dude, Friday, tomorrow, tomorrow is 14 weeks Fat Cat Radio has been open. We're at 20,000 plays and almost 2,500 subscribers to the station. Dude. And, and I know that number's jumped since Dean Wild, since oh, yeah. know, Team Elite. Since, Hell I mean, yeah. That, that, I mean, Everybody. You know, that's, Everybody's that's responsible for those numbers. Everybody yeah. we deal with on a daily basis is responsible for those numbers. The UK guys, Team Elite, Twism White Piece, Lil Frankie, yeah. everybody. You guys, and, yeah, everybody. and Dean, Dean, thank you. I just want to say that. Thank you so much. Because you know, yeah, you're a see, sweet I mean, girl. That's what we're trying to say. You, you know, take we're the time. To say thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're just trying I to thank you. It. So. But, anyways. Yeah. 
I uh, do appreciate you coming out today. It has been a blessing. Thank you. And, of course, uh, being able to release your mixtape, um, you know, live on Fat Cat Radio was an honor. Uh, well received. I think it had, what, Lou, like 70-some-odd listeners, didn't Hold it? Hold on. I'll let you know right now. Yeah, I, I think we can um, get exact numbers for that. What day was it? Um, May 5th, 6th. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me go back. I, I think it was May 6th, maybe. Uh, we had uh, eighty five, eighty five. But that's just on Spreaker. That doesn't represent. Yeah. That doesn't represent um, all the other uh, formats, Facebook. But, and, uh, but, and, but and see, all that's that the whole point. Yeah, that's just eighty five new people who got to hear. Yeah, you all had a cool. One. <laughs> uh-huh. Your your total listening hours is seventy seven point eight three listening hours on that on that mixtape so far here. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh, that's a great um, job for one little show like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. No, I mean, you got to think about it. Okay, so when most people click on it, they listen to what, maybe 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, that means okay. it was like 50 minutes a listener. Yeah, fi- yeah, exactly. That means it was about 15 minutes a listener. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, was the show that long? Hold on. So yeah, the show was three hours, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was. So that's good. That's a good average, you know? That's yeah. a great average. So, yeah, it's so. not bad at all. Yeah, and of course, you know, you can always continue to, to use that same download. You, you can use it on your website features, you know, get it uh, uh, where they can automatically click and play on it to, you know, start at a certain time and so on and so forth. Tools like that become very, very beneficial, which yeah. actually, I shouldn't be saying this now. I should actually write these things out when I send my emails out. But it's just the whole point, you know. Don't ever shortchange yourself on something right. because every little thing adds up. Sure does. And when you talk about having a, a, a nice resume to be able to command um, ten dollars a shirt or ten dollars a CD or you know book a show without having to pay for it, you know those are the things it takes. You know what I mean? Yep. So, yep, it sure does. So, so uh, being, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say again, thank you for coming out. Thank you for taking the time out your day to do the interview. Of course personal thank you from me to you for being a part of Team Elite. Um, and, you know, we at the station want to thank you for being a part of Fat Cat Radio because, um, you know, you're you're real heavy into the Fat Cat Radio thing, too. So that's always uh, much appreciated as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Of course, for the listeners out there, if they want to find out more about Dean Wilde, they can go to www.soundcloud.com slash Dean underscore Wilde. Once again, that's soundcloud.com slash Dean, D-E-A-N underscore Wilde. W-I-L-D. Make sure that you're finding out more about the Lord Knows mixtape that was released May 1st that has wonderful reviews, has already gotten an online, or I mean, an on-air release, um, and of course has, has Dean Wild just sitting over there smiling and teasing <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> so, um, and, you know, big shouts out to uh, Stay Blessed Productions and everything. Um, you know, it's amazing that you guys are a part and continue to be a part. Hi. My dog wanted to say hi. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, well, I heard hey, it. Hey, I you heard know, it. You know he rocks out, you know he rocks out to the Tools and White Peace show, right, Lou? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, there's a video posted posted up of him dancing to the Fat Cat Radio Twiz and White Peace show. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of, the, speaking of the Fat Cat Radio Twiz and White Peace show, guys, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can hear more Dean Wilde. You can hear some of the best underground music that you can find anywhere right here on Fat Cat Radio. Radio. Uh, he's got www.twismwhitepeace.com. There's myfatcatradio.com. He's everywhere. We're everywhere. Dean's everywhere. Everybody's everywhere. And don't forget, yeah. there's other shows. We've got rock, metal, uh, more hip hop shows, cooking, sports, and everything right here on Fat Cat Radio. And uh, again, again, without uh, people like you and Jerry Wilson uh, and Twism White Peace, Fat Cat Radio wouldn't be what it is. So, exactly. my exact exactly. thanks. My my exactly. my exact thanks. Well said. Well said. So, well, um, thank you again for the opportunity, guys. It was a blessing. And thank no you so problem. Much. Dean, stay on the line for a second. You just listened to Dean Wilde, a new mixtape uh, dropped uh, May 5th. Check it out on Fat Cat Radio under the Twism White Peace show. It's called No uh, Lord Knows. It's hot, it's smooth, and Lord knows she's got style and flair and has the momentum to reach her dreams. You just heard everything that you want to know about Dean Wilde straight from the source with your host, Twism White Peace and Big Lou.